Hi, good evening. How are you? Today is the May 2nd and the first day of this month's trading session and we will start with analyzing Nifty and Bank Nifty. So before we analyze, let me tell you this that my entire trading uh, analysis and my entire trading system is based on one fact that whenever the market is in a steady uptrend or in a strong uptrend, it will basically make higher highs and higher lows. So if you want to side with the right side of the market, then you have to or you should trade at the lows of the pullback and the pullback that is this pullback will usually that is around 65 to 75 percent of the times will come back to either the CPR or the Camarilla L3 or the floor pivot S1. So that is the premise and behind which I trade. So my reasons behind trading are very simple and you have to understand that simple things work in the market simple things work in the market simple things like support resistance lines simple things like price action work in the market so stop running behind lagging indicators go ahead with the market leaders the market leaders are the support resistance lines that the price itself has given you since prior price action so what are these levels this is the cpr that is the blue line here the blue three lines here are the central pivot range that's called the CPR and you can see here that there is one S1 that is the floor pivot and you can see here L4, L3 and H3 and H4 these are the Camarilla levels and if you want to know what these levels are you can go back and watch previous videos that I have made on this channel I've also put in uh, importance of CPR videos in the past also so please go ahead and watch those videos now as I just explained to you the in an uptrend how do you basically understand an uptrend in an uptrend the price will basically make higher cprs so the cpr is of higher value and the h3 l3 levels are also higher value what are the h3 l3 layers these are this is the h3 l3 layer of the previous session and this is the h3 l3 layer sorry this is the h3 l3 layer of the current session so you can clearly see that there are they are it's a higher value h3 l3 and you can also see that the cpr is also a higher value CPR which means what that as long as we have a closing which is above the previous days uh, CPR and a uh, an open which is above today's CPR our bias towards the market today is going to be bullish so we are going to have a bullish bias towards the market as uh, the price is open above the CPR if the price opens below the CPR and below the L3 then the bias is rejected so the bias was accepted by price today as it opened above the CPR uh, and it actually happened to open above the H3 also. So when the price opens above the H3, one thing is for sure that the price or the market is bullish. But the CPR today was pretty wide and that's why the lack of conviction today. So that's why price trended to uh, stay between the H3 and the H4. Also the fact that we did not have a very wide initial balance which was the first one hour high and low usually it will show you that with a moderate initial balance the price will tend to stay sideways or it will keep taking resistance at the first one hour high and it will keep taking support at the first one hour low the level which it never really came back to in nifty today so where was i interested in trading today whenever the price opens above the h3 pivot my interest is in trading when the price tends to break through the h3 like if it breaks through it like this and then it forms some sort of a reversal candlestick pattern uh, here so maybe it forms a sign of a doji pattern here and then it forms a red uh, or sorry a green candle which closes above the level of the h3 again i will go long at this particular green candle close and then my target will be what it will be the h4 pivot and the cpr being wide gives us a very uh, a, a very strong indication that the price will tend to stay sideways today and that is what it is basically done it has stayed absolutely sideways without any particular trend today and if you go and see bank nifty it has done the same thing bank nifty has also traded sideways if you can see in bank nifty uh, the cpr was of a higher value this is the cpr and this was the present uh, the current uh, the previous day cpr you can see that it is a higher value cpr and if you want to check the h3 l3 layers then you can see that the h3 l3 layer for the previous session was here 
and today the h3 l3 layers were here so we had a pretty good indication of a bullish day today and the fact that the previous day's closing was above its cpr and today's open which is right here this is the open was above the current day cpr so any open above the current day cpr and above the l3 especially above the l3 or that open can be between the h3 and l3 also within this zone also but as long as it is above the bottom central pivot of the cpr we have a bullish confirmed bullish bias in the market today so we had a good strong bullish bias especially because the close uh, sorry the opening today was way above the h3 pivot as well in fact it opened very close to the r1 and then price did not really go higher because we have seen that yesterday or the previous session was a nice trending session so you will rarely find a strong trending session back to back the market will go silent after a big move and you can see how wide the cpr was today so a wide cpr will indicate that the market will most often tend to stay sideways and how what is the percentage of this working so the percentage of this sort of an analysis working is close to 7 uh, 80% i usually will put it to a modest 75 to 80% so anything more than 80% probability in this market is absolutely high probability. So now let's go and check what kind of levels do we have in Bank Nifty for tomorrow. Uh, no wonder we have a narrow CPR in Bank Nifty because we have seen a very small range of movement today in Bank Nifty as well as in Nifty. And you can see that the closing of today's CPR, sorry, the closing of today's price is above its CPR leading to a very wide virgin CPR for tomorrow and tomorrow's CPR is higher value and now you can also see that if you want to compare the H3 and L3 which are the third layer of the Camilla they are also higher value but they are overlapping higher value so we do have a bullish bias as far as tomorrow's trading is concerned so wherever tomorrow price opens it has to be above the L3 and it also has to be above the bottom central pivot for us to have a bullish bias in the market see if it opens anywhere between this range you can still have a bullish bias as long as nifty opens above the l3 also so for that let's go and check nifty now we can uh, see in nifty that tomorrow we have a very narrow cpr and it is also higher value cpr you can see this and we have an h3 l3 level here which is also a higher value h3 l3 tomorrow in nifty so nifty is giving us a very bullish sign tomorrow as well that is the uh, uh, i mean the reason behind this bullish bias is because of the elevated uh, cpr as well as h3 l3 layers as well as the closing of today's price above the cpr above today's cpr so as long as we open anywhere above the l3 layer tomorrow we will carry a bullish bias in the market so any pullback to the l3 level can be tradable tomorrow since we have a narrow cpr that cpr might not have too much power to hold price given these particular levels what are the important levels that we can mark today first thing is you should mark the virgin cpr because it's the most important level for tomorrow so you will be able to know that whenever price comes down and if it comes or falls that low then you will know that you want to close any existing short positions for tomorrow but uh, i don't think you should have any short positions open for tomorrow i'll tell you why after we mark this particular virgin cpr also see tomorrow we will have a bearish outlook on the market only if the price opens anywhere below this particular pivot what is this pivot this is the camilla l4 level so we will have a bias to the short side only if there is an open below this level which seems unlikely at this point because and again if it's a, if it's an open which is below this level then the price will tend to take support right at the virgin cpr and with such a wide virgin cpr below it you should not look to originate or initiate or any uh, short positions again in nifty also you want an open below this particular uh, l4 level for you to be able to have hold any bull bearish bias in the market but if you see on the daily time frame of nifty you can see that this is a very strong 
a bullish uptrend so it's a it's an uptrend and price has already given us a nice correction and then it's continuing its journey up you can see how the gap is also retained here in nifty and the reason behind my telling you that you should not look for short trades is simply because of the broader trend of the market you can see how bank nifty is also on the run here you can see how bank nifty has been propelled from this point onwards and it is on a constant uptrend so i don't think that you should be really looking for a, a negative trend here in the market just because you see an open that is below the l4 level tomorrow so ideally i would suggest you to still have a bullish bias but the system says that if the market is above the anywhere above the l3 level then you should be able to hold the bullish bias but that confirmation will be uh, we will have only tomorrow and if the market tends to open below the l4 i would rather that you uh, practice caution and stay out of the market instead of just blindly going on uh, the short side trades and if you have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section below if you have liked this video then hit the like button subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so you don't miss a single upload thanks guys please share this channel and the videos of this channel with your friends and family and help this channel grow i'll catch you in the next one bye bye